Hi, so let's say your artwork looks flat like this and you want to improve your artwork from this to this. Then this video is for you. And yes, both are my artwork. This is from 2020 and this is a recent artwork of mine. Okay, back to the main point. However, there are so many reasons why our artwork ends up looking flat like this but in this video i'm gonna talk about four things that is gonna help you improve your artwork and make it look more interesting and more alive so let's get started first is color you i'm pretty sure that most of you guys know what this picture is for those who don't have any idea what this is then let me tell you this is a color hue now what it does, it helps you to pick up a right color for your painting. In a color you, there are two types of color. One is warm color and another is cool color. Now, every single artwork we see on social media is the combination of these two. For example, let's say this is a human face. And in a human face, you're gonna notice that the chin area and the forehead area has a bit cooler color. On the other hand, the cheek area and the ear has a little bit more warmer tone. And what it does, it helps your artwork to look more alive and not like dead. Number two, try to set a mood for your character. And what I mean by mood is which kind of vibe your artwork and your character gives. It can be happy, it can be sad, it can be mysterious, whatever you're going for. Now, as you can see here that I'm drawing Wednesday here and she is a mysterious character. And that's why I'm using a cooler color palette here. Now, there's a thing. Your artwork's mood depends on which kind of color palette you're using. If you're going for a gloomy, sad artwork or mysterious artwork, you have to choose a cold color palette. But if you're going for a delightful, happy artwork, then you have to go for warm color palette. And yeah, try to figure it out which kind of color palette will help your artwork look more believable and if you're struggling which kind of color palette you should use for your artwork then you can always go on Pinterest and search for inspiration. Third is color contrast. Now no matter what kind of mood you're going for or what kind of color palette you're using if you don't use contrast in your artwork, then it will end up looking flat as hell. So try to use contrast in your painting. And what I mean by contrast is the combination of shadow and the brighter part of the painting. Always remember, if there is some light, there is always going to be some shadow going on. And try to understand from where the lighting is coming from and where the shadow is going to be according to the lighting and I know this is going to be a hard task for you to understand the lighting and the shadow um, but you can always use a reference photo for this and remember guys reference photo is not cheating you can always use a reference photo to guide you because we don't have that much information in our head Number four, little details. And in this case, I like to use a cold color for the bounce light of my painting. If we look at a picture really carefully, you're gonna notice that the shadow part is always going to capture some bounce light. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to create another layer on top of all the layer and set it on overlay and then choose a 
warm reddish color and airbrush it on the border side of the shadow layer and what it does it makes your art look more believable and more alive and then i'm adding the little highlights on the eyes and the nose and the lips and in the end I like to draw some loose strands of hair to make it look more believable and yeah that's it all for today's video and this is the final result i hope you learned something from this video and i'll see you in my next video and until then keep drawing and keep creating